Hi, it's Rip. And my beautiful wife is behind the camera helping me out today. Because we're pulled in our clothesline out of the basement before we put it outside. We actually went to put it outside, but we noticed after, uh, what's it been, 10, 12, <laughs> 15, 20 years, we've had this. The, uh, the vinyl, or whatever this type of clothesline is, that was um, used to string the clothesline is just coming apart. Um, chunks are falling off of it. There's a white, some kind of a white nylon cord that's underneath there that's showing through. And um, as you can see from this side, it's, it's pretty well stretched out. Um, and so rather than throwing it out, I figured, well, I could probably save it. It's just a matter of right, finding, finding the material to thread back through the holes and stuff. So the first thing I had to figure out was material-wise, you know, what size are we looking for um, replacement material. And the easiest way for me to usually do it is with a drill bit. And we cut the lines off of this side with the holes that are here. Um, this is actually a, a 13 64th drill bit. A little bit bigger than a 3 16 inch drill bit. Um, so I at least had in my mind when I was going to look for replacement material that would fit into the clothesline what that would be. Um, we actually were at an Ace hardware store and we came across it's, it's actually, it's 530 seconds is what they call it. It's laundry wire clothesline. Um, it's actually, the wire is inside the clothesline. There's a really nice rubber. It's almost maybe what this stuff was when it was new, a long time ago. Um, and with the wire inside, what I really liked about it is that it won't, I believe it shouldn't stretch like whatever this other material was that was inside this other one. Um, what I didn't realize is how long it was um, and how much we were going to need for a replacement line. Um, the clothesline itself is about six and a half feet from, from pole to pole. There are 15 holes on each side of the clothesline. So that's 30 total holes. 30 total holes and trying to do math on easy scale, seven feet would be roughly 210. So I know it's under 200 feet. My assumption is going to be that 100 feet is actually going to do each side of the clothesline. Um, and so we ended the knots and started to pull the clothesline through the holes. And what we realized is that because it's all falling apart, it's, it keeps, it was, I ended up getting a nice pair of shop shears <laughs> and just cut each one of the lines and pulled them out that way instead of trying to pull them all the way through each time and feed them through because the way it was being hooked up and stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with the 100 foot I had here on the outside. I am going to have to feed them all the way down through and thread them all the way up and down through each one of these. I'm not going to have you watch while I do that, but I'm hoping the 100 feet is going to be long enough to do a half of the side. I'll have to go back and grab another 100 feet and finish that, but I wanted to share it with you. So in case you wanted to try to restore an old clothesline, you could watch someone that's been through it. I have 100 feet. That's what we had left. And I still had one more you know, seven foot run to make. So just for information and to hopefully help um, you out. If you're going to do one of these, I did learn quite a bit on stringing this to make it easier. I'd like to share that with you. Um, the first thing I would like to do is I'd like to go down through. Um, we're just going to cut, actually just going to cut all these out from the center. I don't know if you can zoom in on if you want to try to zoom in and get, this is what's going on with this. I don't know if you can see that. So what's happening is that inside, inside there's like a, there be a nylon with a rubber coating on the outside and this is just all coming apart. And that's what makes it so hard trying to pull them out of the holes, which is why I'm going to go down through and I'm just going to cut these all out at the middle. Um, and then I'll show you how to start stringing the new uh, line back in through the, the holes. So I've cut them all out. And what I actually did is I actually cut them on the end on the, where the loops are. You can see the loops are kind of hanging there. Cut the loop there. I just pulled the string in instead of trying to pull this falling apart string all over the place. Um, made it easier. So there's 15 holes going down um, where the string gets strung. We know we can only make it to 14, so seven's in the middle. Um, what I've done is I've uncoiled 100 feet and I've got it going all the way around 100 feet where it's laid straight. If you pull it off the roll and try and feed it through, what happens is it's going to knot up and it becomes a really Really difficult situation if you ever dealt with 100 feet of any kind of wire or string or line, yarn. <laughs> it makes it really difficult. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go. I'm going to go seven holes. 
out of the 14 into halfway. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the seventh hole. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start stringing this um, from the middle and pull it all the way through each end and loop it around and come back. And I'll show you how the loop goes if I can get this to the hole here. One of the problems with pulling out the, uh, the old line is that there's, there's bits and pieces of that stuck in the hole, so you kind of have to wangle around to get to that point. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start pulling down these straight across, and once again, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, the seventh hole down, the seventh hole down the backside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got that all strung through. Tied a knot on the end. Tied a knot, of course, when we start in the beginning, tied a knot for pull that there. And then what I wanted to show is to make sure that when you're going up and down through, you come down, you go to the next hole, and you go back up. So your pattern will look like this on the outside of your clothesline. Now, we bought uh, two 100-foot rolls of the replacement uh, clothesline, and we're still we actually had, we were one short, so we we're like seven feet short on each one. Um, so I actually found some, <laughs> some wire. Um, it's, it's sunlight UV protected wire that I'm gonna string uh, through these two lines here, uh, just to finish off, because I'm not gonna buy another 100 foot roll for 14 feet of, of the wire. All right, so we pulled these all down through. Um, we actually got out to, we only had about an inch left on here. Um, so what we had to do is had to go back through and had to, and we had to do this on the first side, you gotta kind of give it a pretty good tug to, to stretch it out a little bit and make it make sure these are kind of somewhat taut. And that gave us the four inches here extra so we could pull out there and knot this. And like I said, I found this other cabling that fit in the hole um, that we ran um, down and back, put a couple of knots on that end, pulled that snug. Um, so that should do it. Um, hope this helped you out. Um, love your comments, questions, constructive criticism. <laughs> Thanks for watching and um, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Be well.